Hiya, that's Yami here with you and I wanted today to talk about all the symbols, a bit more about the symbols that I have encountered here in Scotland and to tell you about maybe a bit about more about them. So firstly of course I have already posted about the greatest symbols I have encountered but um, all in all yeah so that's not all and some of them were not too typical as you have seen because heather as a flower yes which is not the typical and not Quite symbolic as you know in history books well anyway i'll just to start with yes so i think i would go about the flowers first so it's heather definitely because there are really fields of them this flower heather is amazing and it's really marvelous looking you know when you go um just in the field in the valley somewhere next to the cliff and next to the north sea and you can be just you know petrified by this beauty really but surely the symbolic one is a thistle and that's the this lovely spiky purplish one yes uh, which you can see also quite well often i would say but it is more i would say used in uh, uh, you know in uh, decorations and in some uh, gate decorations or houses decorations more or less and that's that's what i saw right possibly there's there are more cases yes where you can see them but in my case yes thistle even the colored one you know the painted thistle was used as a decoration for the house right anyway as for the animals i would say that highland cow uh, is the particular cow yes which you can see only here in the highlands and in most parts of scotland it is the brown uh, very fluffy one okay and uh, it is uh, quite hairy so you do not see the eyes yes and brown colors mostly and uh, they are usually uh, situated you know and um, somewhere next to the castles where they have their farms and you can see and touch and play with them a bit hopefully <laughs> so the highland cows and there are a lot of a lot of souvenirs and you know key rings with them as well as with shape and that's actually another great animal which is so popular here because you remember my tartan story so they are taken as a lamb wool obviously and also shape um quite popular you know um again for the farms and for not only for because of the wool also because of their meat so all the things together and don't forget about haggy so that's smoothly we uh change into the food topic okay so here i would say that um haggis this is quite a popular dish it's like a lovely uh, kind of uh, i'm not sure how to put it like a like a burger yes like a deep fried one uh from lamb okay I'm, i haven't tried that as i'm vegetarian so but uh i saw people doing eating it and it looked lovely but they said that it was a bit spicy <laughs> right so you can try for yourself when you come then uh, as for sweets i would say that shortbread is a butter bread which is amazingly yummy and um, this is like a cookie right obviously you just can dip it in tea or coffee no matter and it's quite buttery so you do not <laughs> wish to eat a lot right so maybe maximum two per day really but they're literally delicious and well they are just great believe me and also fudge it's like caramel uh, caramelized dough i would say yes or it's quite like a caramel it's a bit crunchy but also uh, not sticky at all and very yummy very sugary very uh, caramelized as i know a bit myself yes as well as you can uh, like you would love it with coffee as well and it's really yummy with any other tea and as well as that i would say as for alcohol surely whiskey an iron brew yes and also there is a specific beer that is brewed here it's brewed up and it's quite popular here as well and there are even restaurants so it's all about the food and drinks well i haven't tried many of these things but fudge and shortbread for sure and they're amazing believe me so as for different things connected to clothes, yes, I would say tartan, as I've already said, you know that, as well as that um, kilts, yes, because it is all about the clan culture and it's all about the Scottish culture of tartan. So you can encounter it here and quite often, frequently, you will see that in the streets. And bagpipes, that's such a symbol as well. 
because they are used as a musical instrument, um, especially for tourists, especially in the city center. And you can always find a lovely musician in their full kilt uniform uh, with a huge braid hat playing with the bagpipe. Okay? And uh, unicorns and dragons, I've already talked about them, so they are really popular, especially in castles and in the uh, palaces as a decoration as well. Um, I would say there are a lot of buildings and places which are quite iconic and they can be easily recognized as uh, the Scottish one. Right, so I would start with the castle, I mean Edinburgh Castle, because it is a symbol, it's an icon, it's a um, masterpiece, right? Um, and uh, surely in many places, just the shape of it, yes, can be recognized. Oh, I know this one, that's the Scottish one, that's the Edinburgh one. Okay, because every castle has a peculiar shape and surely, yes, yeah, so they can be all distinguished and uh, you can always follow um, which place, which one it is, okay, or where it is, right? And also, um, sorry, I'm just sometimes picking up on my notes, <laughs> right? I would say that the St. Giles Cathedral, which is in the center of Royal Mile, is quite iconic as well because it dates back to... <sighs> lots of centuries ago i don't want to lie around 15th century and uh, this is an amazing place especially during christmas because they decorate it from inside and this is so beautiful because there inside you can find like bobs and bips, 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 bits and bobs sorry for you know about anything connected to history of this cathedral and as well as that uh, Scotland as well and Edinburgh specifically because there are so many statues, so many notes, uh, so many, uh, you know, these lovely boards, yes, which you can read, the sacrifices as well, so you can find and read a lot about the history of this place and it's truly symbolic, so I do recommend you every time when you come here, so please go. Um, also, like the northern part of our, the highlands, yes, which is so cool and so amazing and this is really like... Uh, I think it, it's worth visiting a week minimum, right? And you can see there and Loch Ness, which is so symbolic as well, with Nessie, right? So plus one monster. And then as well as that, so there are the mountains, Ben Nevis. I'm not talking about other locks that are here. And also there is an amazing Culloden viaduct. I think, I'm sure you know it from Harry Potter movies. Yes, everyone takes a train well, um, once in a while, yes, to get from there, from Inverness, I think, yes, straight to Edinburgh. Uh, I, well, I'm not sure if this train goes to Edinburgh, I don't think so, but still in the highlands all around you can, well, uh, manage to go and to see the beauty and the nature there. So more or less, I think that these are all uh, the symbols that I have, have, you know, remembered. Maybe there are other ones, so please let me know. I would be happy to read and uh, tell me about your experience of this uh, icons encounters encountering says so let me know what where do you saw you saw them when you saw them and what they are what were your impressions okay very interesting really and tell me if you have any souvenirs from these places and uh, yes so see you then next time thank you